There are some very important issues that science needs to grapple with and tools that are very important in order for people to really develop to the best they can. One of those is artificial intelligence and another we call big data. Artificial intelligence or AI is a series of techniques often using mathematics that can be very helpful in particularly medicine. So we use uh, a lot of computational power, some very sophisticated mathematical formulae in order to bring together very large databases. So this is linking big data to individuals. Let me give you an example. We all have genes and the genes are uh, bases that are uh, one after the other in a double helix. Also, in terms of disease, um, we have a lot of clinical information. People go to the doctor, they are tested, and a lot of information is written down by doctors uh, in text. And the question is, how do you align that one lot of text, the gene sequences, with the clinical information, particularly to do with cancers. So what we've done is use artificial intelligence techniques to bring those two together using natural language processing, it's called, so that we can find out which genes are involved in which cancers. And that's called gene ontology, the linkage of genes together. And that's very helpful because then we can find out which genes, and it's almost always a number of genes, that are involved in individual cancers. And that allows us then to bring together new techniques for drug development for particular cancers. A lot of the process of cancer involves what's called cell signaling, where different parts of the cell talk to each other through particular uh, reactions. And we can inhibit some of these reactions uh, by using drugs. And so knowing which genes are important will allow us to develop new drugs if we can find out what those signaling mechanisms are. So gene ontology is really crucial. We can use it for new drug development but even more excitingly, if one of the genes has already been found to be involved in another disease and has a drug already developed for it, that means we can have what's called drug repurposing, where you can take a drug that's been developed for that gene and repurpose it for this new cancer. And that's fantastic because it allows us to develop treatments much more quickly and without having to go through very expensive clinical trials because the drug has already been through clinical trials.